You're listening to Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony on the virus. Serious XM. Hey, I uh, I got in front of me something that I saved for Jimmy. Hysterectomy. Jimmy was yeah. out there being a star, and then he came back, and then we a got a big star. Then we got busy with other things. But I saved you, Andy Rooney, Jimmy, one of your Goody. favorite people oh, on TV. Good. I do like him. He had a terrific one. Uh, well, at this point, probably two weeks ago. So I'm going to get right into it. Andy Rooney talking about... Was it about- not hysterectomies? <laughs> no. You ever notice how cranky a woman gets after the uterus has been removed? You ever notice how they just don't feel like themselves? <laughs> feel like they've lost a womanhood. And they pretty much have. Yeah. <laughs> you ever notice how a uterus looks just like the Texas Longhorns logo? Yeah, why do they put a uterus on the side of the helmet? <laughs> no one would notice. <laughs> Oh, boy. You ever shine a flashlight into a vagina after a hysterectomy and watch her eyes light up like a jack-o'-lantern? You ever do that? (laughs) Sort of like fucking a dead-end street. Find out what he said. I didn't think so. What does he talk about? Let's find out. Uh, Technology, I believe, in cars. Oh, great. In cars, he can't handle it. Ah, I don't like it. Since they took the crank off the front. I have a lot of gadgets here in my office. I don't really like gadgets. I don't even like the word gadget. I read, though, where automakers have plans to install even more electronic gadgets in their cars. What? Do we really need more of them? I knew I was out of the loop when I read recently that the Ford Motor Company is allowing smartphone apps on Android phones to link directly to sync-equipped cars. I not only don't have an Android-equipped phone in my car, I don't know what one is. You do have Android, though. Jesus Christ. (laughs) You get the breathing app for the iPhone. (laughs) Hey, Vader. (laughs) Do you ever notice when you sound like the, the Lord Prince of Darkness? How nice C-3PO is to you. I think he's like 90. Still on TV. I don't even know what one is. Yes. Thanks, Andy. I always like the crank up windows. Made me feel like I was doing something. I like to make Oprah Winfrey drive me around, even though she wants to go see your chimmins. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. What was wrong with wooden spokes on the wheels? They gave me a good ride. Don't know what one is. Wouldn't know what one was if I saw one. I mean, do drivers really need to log onto the internet while they speak to friends? Yes. While the kids watch a movie on the video screen in the back seat? And at the same time, have the GPS help locate the best Italian restaurant in the area? Yeah. Yeah. I have mixed feelings about the things that will keep me. So do I. Hatred and disdain. First of all, he doesn't understand internet in your car isn't sitting there browsing right. on, on the web. It, it's Wi-Fi everywhere so you could get things transmitted to your fucking vehicle. Right. Music, information, uh, fucking maintenance shit for your car, like like all that stuff. He's thinking, you know, ah, you're going to be looking at porno. Right. Instead of maybe a restaurant you want to eat at yeah. in, in some strange town somewhere. Tied into your navigation system. Well, he's, he's not going to have to worry about it too much longer. Don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, don't, don't worry. This isn't for you. Don't worry. I hope these gadgets aren't in coffins. <laughs> makes me a little nervous. Area, I have mixed feelings about the things that will keep me from getting lost. Too often, the best time I have is when I am lost, before I get where I'm going. I can remember when Henry Ford said... I can can remember driving through South Central Los Angeles and six (laughs) Negroes dragging me out and hitting me with a kitchen sink. Because I was lost. I was lost. (laughs) I had a new destination, the hospital. (laughs) Who wants to be lost? No one enjoys being lost. Some of the best times I've had has been when I'm lost. (laughs) Really? You might take the long way because you feel like being in your car a little longer, but you don't want to actually be lost ever. Guys, I suck. Adult. God, does it suck. Gadgets. Remember, when Henry Ford said, you can have any color car you want, as long as it's black. Now people have green cars. That means environmentally friendly cars. Like hybrids, electric cars, cars with fuel cells, and even cars that run on used cooking oil. Of course, I don't want a car that smells like bacon grease or French fries. I just want a car that I can drive to the store in, pick up a bottle of milk and a loaf of bread, and go home. 
That's all you want? His milk and bread. He just sits there eating the bread and drinking the milk. <laughs> no, just buy the like, milk and bread. What, what, what year is this guy living when in? When was the last time someone just went uh, and got milk and bread? No one. You can have any slave you want, as long as it's black. <laughs> I just want to go and buy my Cialis and Efferdent. <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what, a, what, a, what a horrible combination. <laughs> uh, well, I can clean my horrible teeth and make my wife fuck me. <laughs> she hates fucking me. Fucking milk smegma yeah. breath <laughs> and breadcrumbs in my teeth. Yeah. Sometimes she puts free that in her vagina and I lick it out. It doesn't stick to my teeth. My dentures. <laughs> I feel free to chew free then. I go to the store and I get that. <laughs> and I get eggs and I drop them because I have dementia. <laughs> you ever get eggs and you step on them because you think they're your shoes? Because you haven't been relevant since 1987? Tick, tick, tick. <laughs> oh, it's a clock. So it was a suicide bomber, as you were all hoping it was. <laughs> Running in here with a, with a glorious bomb strapped to his chest to finally end this. Some kind of gadget strapped to yeah. him. I hate these gadgets. Oh, God. Bless what is you. Allah Akbar? <laughs> yeah, is that a bar that people go to drink at? I have a drink at the Allah Akbar. <laughs> yes. By, by the way, I've Eric. I've got Murphy's and. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Eric in Virginia attack. He goes, he remembers Henry Ford saying that. Yeah, yeah. Ford <laughs> said that in 1909. <laughs> I remember. As an adult. Yeah. <laughs> We've now done 2009 as well. That's hearing, how long ago that was. Hearing Henry Ford say, holy shit. My friend George had an issue with a cherry tree once. I said, just <laughs> tell the truth. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, man. Milk and bread. Oh. Milk and bread. Who oh. runs out for just milk and bread? drive to the corner store for milk and bread. Yeah. He thinks that's where he is. He's a fucking... I don't know. I, place that you can't get milk and bread at. <laughs> I like to get condoms and gumballs and then beat my wife like we're in bad boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sometimes she puts a bomb in the radio like Horowitz. Horowitz. And I play it like Viking and it goes off. <laughs> Knocks me off the banister. She's good with gadgets that explode. That's right. She's trying to kill me. She caught me doodling one time. I said, that was Tweety, you asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever notice when Warren Jerome robbed somebody, he gets shot and killed? Do you ever notice that? <laughs> That's Tweety. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever draw a bird flying over a prison wall and all your friends laugh at you? <laughs> you ever doodle with your own shit because you're old? I have. <sighs> oh, God. He's the worst. He really is a doddering He's fool. Dumb. Milk and bread. Milk and bread. Yeah. It's coming home with that bag with the baguette coming out of the top and maybe some <laughs> celery. <laughs> What's he making? And you put the, the milk under your pillow and it gets sour because you're senile. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a fire and you hold the bread and try to put it out because you think it's an extinguisher. Because it's cylindrical. Because you're a dope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit, man. And with his dumb milk and bread on the passenger seat of his old car. It's horrible. You ever been the victim of a home invasion and you try to swim, swing your bread at them and they eat it while they're beating you and raping your wife with a stick? You ever have that happen because you're old? I have. <laughs> Not fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, wow. Yeah, well, he doesn't like gadgets. Hey, gadgets. My grandson puts on German shit films in the car. <laughs> <laughs> I can't go anywhere without watching Caviar Party. <laughs> caviar Party? <laughs> What's a Caviar uh, Party? Oh, it's a fun place. It's no it's need a fun for place it. to visit. Oh, yeah. Internet oh, in the oh, car. Yeah. And how long's a red light anyway? I can only watch about 30 spins of meat spin during <laughs> one red light. He remembers when there weren't red lights. Yes. yes. He, he remembers those things. Ding! Oh, that would come shit. out. Yes. Go and stop. And when they, someone took a picture of me and Morley Safer and another friend and called it Lemon Party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, look at that. Judah Freelander is on TV uh, selling his karate book. Yeah. I see that book everywhere. 
Everywhere. <laughs> a very silly book. It really is silly. Funny. Yes. Did he say bottle of milk? Nice. No, I don't know. Did did he? He? I think it just said milk. Uh, like, okay. A bottle. So, so yep. And why does it need to have a milk that man? At least. I've been waiting for the milk man. All my cereal's stale because there's no such thing anymore. <laughs> With the milk box. I was drinking the heavy cream he left. Then I realized it was just a sand ashtray outside an AA meeting. <laughs> Can't believe I was drinking that. <laughs> well, I'm glad we saved that one for when Jimmy was here. Oh, uh, he of really course. He really appreciates Andy, it home, Andy Rooney. I sure do. He's, uh, he's, he's, he's an institution, isn't he? Yeah. God bless him. Opie and Anthony. This is the Opie and Anthony Show. Serious XM.